Hey everybody, this is your brother Dwayne from PTH Ministries, and today we're gonna to talk about five tips to help combat mental health disorders like anxiety, depression, and the list goes on. Tip number one, food. A lot of times we don't realize that there's food that we eat that can have negative impacts upon our body and it can cause our minds to be impacted because there's a sympathy between the gut and the brain. And as a result of that, the more nutritious food that we eat that is neither upsetting to the stomach, upsetting to the system, and then of course will not be upsetting to the brain is food that is whole, unprocessed, and nutrient dense. But also, I also wanna talk about food that is high in something called tryptophan. Tryptophan is an amino acid that really helps balance out certain hormones in the body that can cause us sometimes when they get out of whack to suddenly go into anxiety or anxious thoughts and a lot of depressing thoughts and things of this nature. And so when I talk about foods that are high in tryptophan, I'm talking about number one, nuts, walnuts, almonds, even cashews, the more that you can get these type of foods, especially in their raw state. Now make sure you wash them if you're getting them raw. Sometimes people touch it with their hands in the grocery stores and put them in bags. So you wanna kind of rinse them a little bit before you eat them. But nevertheless, the more that you get in your raw nuts, they are high in tryptophan. Whole grains, things like quinoa, brown rice, they also are high in tryptophan. And these type of foods can actually build up the body really good. If you're into supplementation, you can get something called spirulina. It's a nice green powder loaded with nutrients. And you can put some of that inside of a smoothie or what have you, and you can drink it because one of the nutrients in spirulina is none other than tryptophan. But again, whole food, nutrient dense, plant-based, and high tryptophan foods. Excellent way to combat some of these mental health disorders, anxiety and depression and otherwise. Tip number two, ready for this one? Sunlight. It is a fact that we have a hormone that is very special. It's actually called our happy hormone. This is none other than something called serotonin. Our serotonin best develops when we're out in sunlight. The more that you get out in sunlight, it's not that you want to look at the sun and blind yourself, God forbid, but you want to at least get out in the sunlight early in the morning or right around sunrise, if you're able to, if your work allows, then you go ahead and you get outside and maybe you'll do something for 30 minutes, maybe read or just sit back and relax. But the key is let that sunlight just shine on your face. And even though you're not looking directly at the sun, our sun is so powerful that so far away, it can still warm you up, is that right? So it is that though it's so far away, those rays have wonderful benefits that when it hits the lid of the eye and the retina and it sends the signals to the brain, it literally tells the brain, produce and lift up the serotonin levels. The more your serotonin levels are high, the happier you will be. And so I'm going to encourage you to try to get outside. Get about 20 to 30 minutes out there in the sunlight first thing in the morning. Somebody says, but I work. I have to be in an office or someplace else early in the morning, even before sunrise. There is actually something called light therapy lamps. You can go to places like Amazon. They're like $30 or something. And they must be at 10,000 LUX as in xylophone. You get 10,000 lux of that lamp and you just allow it to shine on your face. Again, don't look directly at it. Just let it shine on your face for about 30 minutes and it is amazing at helping boost up your serotonin levels. Number three, get some sleep, folks. A lot of people who suffer with mental disorders, you will find their sleep patterns and their sleep habits are not very good. You need to get good sleep. Watch this. The same way that when you go outside in the morning and that serotonin level goes up, at night, you want your serotonin levels to go down and then something else called your melatonin levels. That now must go up. When your melatonin levels go up, that affords for great sleep and it helps affect mood. So watch this. When it's getting towards nighttime, let's say your bedtime's 10 o'clock, right? 
When it's 10 o'clock, you want to do everything possible to make sure your lights in the house are more dim, not bright. You want to probably even think about investing in some of those blue light blocking glasses. Oh, by the way, stay away from your phones. Don't keep using your phones all the way up until bedtime. That blue light coming from your phone can sometimes trick your brain when it's reading the blue lights and your brain says, um, oh, I guess it's still daytime, so let's keep the serotonin levels high. Not good. Let's keep the melatonin levels low. Not good. When you're going to bed, you want the reverse. You want serotonin down, you want melatonin up. And so it is that the more that you allow your melatonin to rise, it's gonna help you have a better mood. You're gonna be happier and you're gonna be able to go to bed, get a full night's rest and wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Number four, exercise. The more that you exercise, you release endorphins, these hormones, that the more that you get in about 30 minutes a day of some type of anaerobic, you know, brisk walking, riding a bike, skateboarding, little jogging, whatever it may be, then commingle it with some anaerobic, some push-ups, some chin-ups, or you know, maybe a little bit of lifting of the weights. The more that you do this, it produces these endorphins in your body that helps build you up and keeps you feeling good, feeling happy, feeling pain-free. It works wonders for us. And so what you wanna start doing is get about six days a week that you're getting some amazing exercise, 30 minutes. You go at your own pace, whatever it is, but try to get that heart rate up a little bit. And you will find that your exercise will once again help combat some of those negative emotions, some of those negative feelings, some of that negative thinking. Number five, my friends, put your trust in God. Get to know him. Pick up your Bible and learn about this man who walked on this earth 2,000 years ago by the name of Jesus that when interviewed and asked, why did you come here? He said it was you that was on his mind. It was you that he came not only to bless you spiritually, but to bless you mentally. There's a, there's a term that Jesus loved to use. The term was called be of good cheer. You would see it a lot, be of good cheer, be of good courage. John 16 and verse 33 is an example. Be of good cheer. When a man was sick and his friends dropped him through the roof in front of Jesus in Matthew chapter nine, Jesus, the first thing he says to the man is, be of good cheer. God wants you to be happy in your mental state. He doesn't want you to just be holy, he wants you to also be happy. And so it is that I want to encourage you, pick up your Bible, learn about this man who came to die for you by the name of Jesus. Study the word of God. Look at the promises God has made. I can assure you there's no mental perplexity you're going through that the word of God does not have a promise for it. And so you will find that if you put these five tips into practice, my friend, I believe by the grace of God that you will go from mental depression to mental exhilaration. You'll be so happy and you will just joy in this deliverance from that oppression. And you know how I know? Because I used to go through it myself. And today I tell you, when I go to bed at night, my sleep is sweet. When I wake up in the morning, I am filled with ambition. When I go throughout my day, I'm in my day. <laughs> I'm in a positive state of mind and the Lord blesses beyond my expectations. And if God has done this for me, guess what I learned? God is no respecter of persons. He will do it for you too. This is your brother Dwayne from PTH Ministries. Be of good cheer. May God bless you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to learn more about what you just saw, go check out the description of this video. There are links down there that will take you to where you can learn more. If you'd like to know more about Advanced Revival Ministries, go check out our website as well as our social media pages. Advanced Revival Ministries is supported by generous donors like you. So if you'd like to donate, go check out our website and click on the green donate button or check out the link in the description of this video. Make sure you go check out some of our other videos don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.